sometimes opportunities present themselves in places you never thought they would. So the aquarium is incredibly excited about this project because it involves middle school students using a 21st century technology to actually help an endangered species. So our mission here is to inspire people to care for and protect our ocean planet through conservation education and research. So you know the education and conservation program really does exemplify two-thirds of that mission. And actually through this project, that was one of the things that made us the most excited about it, we're actually doing all three. So this is Yellow Purple. Uh, she is a about a 23-year-old African penguin and she's been a part of our collection here ever since she hatched. She came up with a, an injury to her left leg about five years ago or so in 2011. She actually um, had a little bit of a, a spat with another bird on exhibit and um, she came up lame one morning. The, the penguin trainers called me to come have a look at her. And we did a physical exam and some diagnostic tests, ultrasound and radiographs and, and found out that she actually had torn a, a flexor tendon in her left leg, in her, her left ankle region. So that's why she happened to be lame, which is why we came up with the need to have a boot to support that flexor tendon that was then missing after her injury. A ton of different things had to come into place for this to happen. So Jen Flower, our chief veterinarian, had identified to us that she needed to replace the boot for the penguin and was thinking about using 3D printing technology. I just happened to sit on a community board, the Stonington Education Foundation, who had just funded buying a 3D printer for Mystic Middle School, our local middle school. So it made me start to think that I can make this connection between the middle school and here at the aquarium. We first met Purpose in February. We came to the aquarium to see kind of what was going on and what they wanted us to help with. And then it took from then till May, we met maybe once every other week. I said we were at the beginning of the learning curve and one of the things we realized that we wanted to do but didn't have any idea how to do was to use a scan that we made and create a hole in something else. And so I simply went to the contact us form on their website. Uh, we had purchased the printer from the ACT group and that's how it all got started. Nick got in contact with me, and the rest is history. Uh, hello, I'm Nick Gondick. I'm Director of Additive Manufacturing at ACT Group, um, and we are a reseller for 3D systems, um, and we supply 3D printers, software, scanners. Currently, the boot being built for perps um, is done in a more traditional process where they have the caster foot, and they have to actually mold it by hand. It's, and it can be time consuming, and the boot has to be replaced um, over you know, an extended period of time. Um, the boot is also relatively heavy and kind of bulky. They're a small animal. Um, so we thought we'd utilize the 3D Systems Projet MJP 5500 technology um, to take advantage of the multi-materials to make a, a boot which is better fitting, um, lighter weight, and could be less bulky for perps. It's been great to show the kids how end-to-end -end solutions by 3D Systems work. Sue Prince, the librarian at the middle school, uh, she filled out a form online to contact our company with a simple question as to, is this possible, can we do this, um, in terms of you know creating a boot for a penguin, an orthopedic boot. And at first Nick wasn't really sure how we were going to attack it, but then after you know conversing with 3D Systems, we kind of just all rallied together and met the kids and kind of learned more about them. And they were probably the smartest group of kids I've ever met in my entire life, and that's not just to say it about the project, they really amazed me. So what we did, originally we got a cast of Purpose's foot from the aquarium. Um, we used a 3D scanner to be able to make a model of that, so we didn't worry about breaking their cast of the foot. And then we were able to model clay around the 3D cast that we had printed for us in order to make a boot model. Um, then we used 
Geomagic Sculpt to add the final details like the treads and the hinges and the closures. So when ACT came and showed us the different materials and showed us the capabilities of all of the different things that they could do, it really opened up our perspective of how much we could change this penguin's life and that was really amazing. When I saw her just walking with the boot that we all designed and that everyone's tiny, like however tiny or however large piece of work that anyone put into it, it all kind of created something that it's going to help her and it made me feel very happy definitely to see this working. Once the boot had been designed by the students at Mystic Middle School and the ACT group came to the aquarium to give me the first boot model, uh, we, we were in the exam room trying it on yellow purple and it, as soon as we took off her old boot and put her in the new boot, she, she really just took off across the exam room um, looking very comfortable in her new boot and walking much more like a normal penguin should walk. When I saw the boot on the penguin, the final product, and how much of an improvement it made for the penguin, and I think it's really amazing how much of a difference it's going to make in its everyday life. So it's just been truly amazing to be able to work with the middle school students, the ACT group and their 3D technology, and also the veterinary staff here at the aquarium, and put it all together in order to make a real benefit to the health of one of our endangered species. <music>